What's up? Oh, hey, man. How you doing? Man, I was wondering, have you heard from your family? Yeah, sure. No, that's a lie. I haven't heard a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, well, it's not gonna matter. We're all gonna be dead in about a half hour anyway. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business. Uh, All right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh, you know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please it's just fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh, oh, ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Fucker. Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And die. Fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency. And they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 no. There is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Follow the coast to the south. It's not far. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system... You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. Oh, thank God. Fate shall carry me safe through these selfless acts of charity. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes! be a great over the outlet. Townley, you've got the cutter. When we get there, go to work punching through. Roger that. Okay, using the oxy hydro cutter on the grill. That's burning at over three and a half thousand degrees. Yeah, thanks for the science lesson. Can I keep this for the next vault I hit? 
That gas won't last forever, so cut smart. to the facility. You sure this thing comes out where you think it does? The intel is good. We're 100 yards out. Ah, I feel like I'm giving a colonoscopy to the Statue of Happiness. Nice change from being up Trevor Phillips' ass all day. You feel that? Water's getting warmer. You wet your pants, Davey? This is a cooling tunnel. Of course it's getting warmer. No one urinated. Uh, I know for a fact that that ain't true. The problem with this job is I only get to know the criminals who are dumb enough to get themselves caught. Yeah, only I wasn't caught, remember? I turned myself in. He makes a point. That makes you doubly dumb. We ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. <laughs> Lead the way. Bank robber, your job is to keep this covert and non-lethal as long as you can. Against the wall, quick! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him to sleep, Mike. <laughs> let's go, let's go! Hands where I can see him. Okay, now hit the elevator. So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? Elevator's coming down. Someone's on board. Out, out, out! Easy now, easy now. Please, don't. You got clearance, give it up. Please don't hurt me. Give up your access card. Collect a swipe card. All right, we go. How you feeling about this? I feel pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Round to the right. Come on. We're fine. Move on. You see the lab geeks? I don't want trouble from these two. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. This is a secure research environment. Ah! Take what you want. I don't care. Ah! We gotta keep moving. Corridor goes around to the left. Don't sit there. Bring it to them. Behind the wall. Security detail about to make a pass. Too late. 
We're going. Let's go. It's too risky, Bandito. That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it. You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay. All right, yeah, you go. I'll stay in cover. Fuck it. Fine by me. And the dead bodies? I'm lucky I'm not one of them. Come on. Let's go. Detain this man! Fuck you! I should detain you! I just took a bullet for my country! Time to go! Bring us up! What happened back there? Where's Agent Haynes? Don't tell me we suffered casualties! Only self-inflicted ones! Fucking guy shot himself so he could pass as a double agent! Ah, well, maybe they'll debrief him with a 12-inch aluminum flashlight! Haynes took the easy way out. We're the ones hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. I think Franklin's the one taking the easy way. Guy's got his feet up in an aircraft hangar. Look, let's just get to the airport so we can finish this bullshit. When you drop us, I'll take the nerve agent. Mr. Phillips, can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, but made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Is he fucking with me? Probably not. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'm doing my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Ah, uh, you and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. We had a wonderful time, Trevor, but we both know I made a vow to my husband. <laughs> I know! You have a great pain inside you, but you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy, so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. For some reason, everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. No! Look out! Abandoning you. I am going home. You treat you! I know. I know.
No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Uh, good friends. Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. It's good news. The shrink says I have a hero complex. What a gentleman. And for once, I'm not being sarcastic. Mm, come on! I miss you already. What the f word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my g-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. P please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the f is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right. Oh, yeah, some serious corporate gang-banging going on, right? 
Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, oh, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friends. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Mm, interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. I could run in and get Floyd and Debra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah. Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you, driving out to a quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof! Right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now, Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is, you can't rely on anyone. Anyone, except me. So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us, the strip club? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That gun like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner.
Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taken over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Struggling pain, struggling pain. Evil saints in my brain. War. Can you ask the DJ to play some hardcore? Hey. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. I, uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there are other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LA. 
us at approximately 1530. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature? Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group, from the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime, but not now. Hey! Hey! Man. Look, dog, Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before, something we could help you with. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why do you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit... When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. I'll take bets. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their 
86 inside. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. So how you feeling about this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? 
Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA. And your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. All right, holla at him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know. No. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know? You are a man of action. You do not sit on couches. You take scores. You're back, man. We are back. All right? All we got to go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh. Fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. 
You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! That's my car, you prick! Come on, where you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple of beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no, no, it's clear and reason thought, finally! Stop your car, come on, come back, we'll talk! Oh, I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Just stop the car, turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, the lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath. Trevor, come on. Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Shit! You entitled piece of shit! Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davy! Shit, he knows. I think he knows. Why? Who? I think! Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. Does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. But I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. I just started no, walking not. and I didn't stop until I reached Pillbox Hill. Tananyo, he's in Tao de Jicha, Bukan Tarana Banji, Woman Hagen Shang. Listen, Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos, start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody, pay attention. No one gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, team. Slow and steady. His name is Dave Norton. Nice guy, realist. He gets the glory, I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. Some depot out of town, you don't need to know. Trust me, nothing is going to go wrong. 
Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We gotta follow the plan. Everything will work out. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. We did it. Baby, we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The day is closed. Just this one job, and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. A guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there! Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. If I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! Ah! Fuck! Fuck! Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Who are your friends, T? Stop the man! Find us! You should have gone after the other guy. And another man. <laughs> okay. Trevor, you did. Give him up. Phillips went that away. Hey, can't we do this where the weather's better? We could have teamed up.
going to die. Oh, hey, back Jesus off! Ma. You started this! Hi, boy, what I got here? Ah, you want a boyfriend, huh? More of you? Really? You're way off, assholes! We know you. I ain't got anything against you people! Fuck you, asshole! You're making a mistake! Fuck off! After the other guy. Where are you gonna go now? How many they got in this van? You send up here. Trevor. Fuck! 
You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? Michael DeSanta. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! That's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die! Tell him I love him dearly. Crack. Hey, I jacked the last ride on that list. You ready to go? Shit, I'm ready to get paid, nigga. Crazy Man's got the other ones. Come meet me by Glass Heroes and Strawberry so we can do the damn thing. I'm on my way. How'd it go? Any problem? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. 
That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now, like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Line it up on the carrier, homie. That's teamwork, motherfuckers! Boss man's happy! Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust-ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Let's get the truck. Paletto Bay, Sonora Freeway. Hey, it's, uh, cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. They ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? Yeah, look, four hours. Shit. Your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool's sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Such a boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie. For a dude that kills dudes, and eats dudes, and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid, or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or, where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck! Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But, you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn. He fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule, maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. 
What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tired with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulers. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now, that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. Your wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you! That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Vent. The turd was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah. Probably. How you doing? Where? When? Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker! What time was on the line? What you gonna do, old fearless leader? Oh shit! I'll handle this! If you keep driving, I'll use the JB-700 to get rid of him! Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie!
This Frank, Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm, we got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost them. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. We're taking a ride to the truck stop at Procopio. Roger that. I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel one. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his alpha fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite... Rob? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and, frankly, immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Lester Crest! I'm amazed you're still with us. Just barely. Look, Franklin needs to see you. He had some trouble securing payment on that last deal. He needs to find Michael. Oh, look, I don't know nothing about that, but if he had trouble getting payment, that's my problem, too. I mean, I took half those cars. Fine, whatever. Just tell him you don't know where Michael is, but do it in person. He'll be at his old place on Forum. me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! Hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. The time together. It's very important.
Excuse me! Don't do it! Stick-
women. We are free. We're bringing an end to the patriarchy. We are women. Here are brains. We are women. Here are shouts. We are women. We have no doubt. We are women. We are free. We are Shut the fuck up. Thank you. Oh, my N-word, huh? What What's up, up homie, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. What a, is that how you act, huh? When a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No. Uh, really? Man. Oh, no. What, oh, so what, it's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you... You're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act, you little jumped up motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I apologize. I accept. Your apology. Okay? All right, so. Let's hug it out. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! Right? Yeah, so fucking you fucking gotcha. Oh, fuck, no, I'm not funny. I'm a fucking asshole. Oh, fuck. I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you all right? Just, I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have... I would have just... Look, look, fucking! Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael! I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro, don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trev. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. That game was great last night. Ow, it's I told you. He ain't my g -la. Don't try to persuade me you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot. You're making a mistake. It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to coin every favor I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him! Hey, Trevor hey. Phillips isn't oh. coming. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, hey, hey! Hey! Let me down! Let me fucking down!
Want me to waste a boy for it? Fucking pop this guy already! There's more guys coming from down there. Pull me a gun. There you go. Here, the guys, you was talking about. Oh, they got you. Get up, let's go. We're going out this way. Come on, Mike. Trevor Phillips! If I can get used to being upright, I think I can lose it. This was a nice car.
some body work done. I'll see you. Show. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Uh, man, before all that, I'm talking about the feds. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out, a future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <clears throat> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. Just saying.
What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet. So, so you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. What else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done, period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the Bureau, parking garage entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that gonna get us in? 
Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. Let me get the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate. Here we are. Let's wait for him. Ooh, what's this? Nope. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Something's coming. This is not the car we're looking for. So what do we do? Oh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. That's it? That's not it. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. That's the one. You know the drill. Couple of car lengths. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work-related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation. And maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. He's pulling up. Park down the block. What's up? Hey! Thanks for hooking me up! Hey, I'm, I'm gonna up. make that happen! Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Jesus.
You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. He'll fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Yeah. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Successful? Oh, yeah. We gotta go back to my office. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. Ah, he's already here. What's the problem, dawg? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, that old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. But they're not online anywhere. So I'm going to need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson, this was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Driving?
Hey. Uh, but... <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just... Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go, get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star, sort of. I think mom's at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, s stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows? They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. <laughs> There they are, outside. Fabian, too? Oh, what a treat. Oh, caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two, a picture of holistic well being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey. Oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted... I'm meaning to say to you, I just... <laughs> what he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Did someone say... Shut up! <laughs> I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? 
fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. Oh. All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on. I want one too. Later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey. Let me ask you, back there with your mom, that went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I think they're in here. This is so bad! You disgust me, fool! I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Uh, yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Laszlo. Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the Yankslinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh, uh... I'm bi-coastal. I... Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Ow! Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah! Ugh. Ah! Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah! Oh, my God! Ah. Papa Bear! What's Daddy number two gonna think about this? Ah. Ah. Let's not get him involved. Ah. Let's do... Are, are we gonna match? Ah. Now hold it. Ah. Just so you know, I've got a beachwear photo shoot next week. How about I throw all those three little pubic hairs on here, too? There we go. Oh, Nice. You got, like, a camera phone or a mirror I can... Oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. Oh, too nice this. Oh, ah. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. When I get nervous, I evacuate my bowels. It's seeping out. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll like call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. Never a family that needs therapy. <laughs> My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your Sully's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. <laughs> Literally. Like Fabian, 
Around the head with a laptop? Oh, yeah, like, pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine patio. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? Show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long, and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough, okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't, like, actually rob a liquor store. That might, like, kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. I'm fighting. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm, it's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda, trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? squared <laughs> of course take care now hey so are you gonna come home with me or what guess we'll give it a try all right then kids so will you drive us home You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke. 
And we gotta work it. Work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor? There's no explaining, Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers or other women. Yeah, Dad. Gross. You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. Here we are. Home sweet home. Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Last one standing. Again. Hey, Mike. It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site! Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw-up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Nice. Over here, you freaking dick. Who are you? <laughs>
cracking. Hey, you got them? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So you can plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and then get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the... Of course. Now you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the system, talking you through the process from a remote... They did good Evangelico, remember? I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The gunman's there to buy you the time you need. He's my go-to guy. I ain't changing that now. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so bear that in mind. I'm not gonna pass her up. Okay. That all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us.
You got lucky, buddy. Turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Other than giving you money, putting a roof over your head, money, speaking money. to guys who ridicule you on TV. Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? Yeah, you better not be That's taking out credit like your brother. 
You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. I, I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after this video on fame or shame? We found this prick? Not yet. Okay, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoop? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stock. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. Ah, purple car, that's him! Fuck, he's on to you! Let's go! Be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him. This was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. He really scared me, but I, I didn't know what. Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Good. That's my girl. Now, please, try to make better choices. Thanks, Daddy. Bye. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. I'm going, man, before you take advantage. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. So what y'all talking about? The Internet age. <laughs> the Internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a highly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm gonna miss this place. I think we're gonna do this thing and maybe take that score. Well, I... I guess this has all gotta be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes. Agent Steve set up a base of operations at the noose building off the Palomino Freeway. All right, now let's roll on this thing. Why are you so chipper? Shit, why are you so miserable? It must be an age thing. Great. Now, there's something to look forward to. What's the plan again, man? And please, let it involve someone shooting you for being so goddamn miserable. Oh, what is this? Pick on me day? 
Look, I know I'm a miserable old prick, but give me a break. You and Lester. Shit. So the plan was feeling sorry for your ass, right? I miss Lester saying that shit for sure. Let's feel sorry for Michael. Rich, white Michael, poor Michael, who robbed banks for 10 years, then got his slate wiped clean. Yeah, yeah. Poor Michaels, whose homies get in the shit with the FIB out of the kindness of their own hearts, put their necks on the line. Man, where's my get out of jail free car, motherfucker? I'm sorry, okay? You know what, Mike? You a real easy dude to identify with, man. Poor me. Poor me. Man, pour me a drink, nigga. Okay, okay, I can see. Maybe I've been a little caught up in myself. A little? Man, just give me the plan, okay? All right. Here's the shot. We're taking a chopper up to altitude, jumping out, and climbing in through the Bureau skylight. It's the computer system. That might take a while, so we gotta hold off any resistance. Once we're in the system, we download the files, chopper picks us up. Hey, that was real simple, wasn't it? I'm informed now, dawg. So you want to wallow in some more of your self-pity? Get another free therapy session? Actually, now that you mention it... Hey, fuck you! Honest and angry. This is some of the best mental health work I've done in years. All right, we're coming up. Chopper pilot, gunman, driver, and hacker should be ready. I'll radio in. Guys, you there? Waiting on you. This place is in the creeps, Holmes. Same with this fat pilot. Okay, I need my engineer stationed outside the building, calling in updates. I'll be on standby, boss. All right, you're Haynes' pilot, right? We gotta wait until it's late enough, then we move in the chopper. You can take us up. I'll get on the stick when you jump.
Come on, Franklin. Let's go, buddy. Got it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Better than an elevator. Ah, fuck. We're in. The server room is in the southeast corner of the building. It's locked. I'm setting a charge. Hey, here you go, dog. That's a nice weapon. The alarm's been tripped. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. The programs are on your cell phone. Connected to the machine. They better be. You need to access my computer. Your cell will show as an external device. First, run Hack Connect. It'll establish a connection with the servers. Concentrate. You gotta find this terminal's IP in the network's view. You're looking for the IP address, that number at the top, in the massive numbers in the middle. Okay, connection established. Now, to take down the firewall, run bruteforce.exe. The program will expose each character of the password as it tries different encryptions. Select them quickly, because they won't be active for long. Okay, looks like we're in. Good work. Start down and out.exe, and I'll do the rest from here. Okay, people, we're rewriting history. Security team's been deployed. Hear that? We gotta hold them up while this thing completes its process. Hey, we knew this was coming. Let's do this. I'm sticking here. Start the power transfer. We'll need that chopper ASAP! Get her over the building! Now it's the car! Hey, we will prepare this. Let's take it. I'm gonna stay here and make sure this download happens. Agent Dad! I don't want to wait on that chopper! Bring it down to the building, be ready to go! Airless initiated! Fly by the building! On the left! Coming out of that room there! Hang on, guys! Hey, chopper's here! The pump! Says ain't finished yet! I'll hold here! Wait on your signal for pickup! Here they... No, pop these motherfuckers! We in and out. Ow! The shots are coming from up top. Down, now. They're on top of us. Left side on the roof. It might be Chopper. He's on to us. Bringing it down. My taking fire. I'm hit. I'm hit. Trying to bring it under. Worry, we got a backup plan. Use the harnesses. Repel from a few floors down. I can use the ah, they smoking us out. Smoke bomb. Be cool. Guys, you there? Yeah. Go ahead. The heli crash caused extensive damage. Explosion went through a couple of floors. Sprinklers brought the fire under control, but be extremely careful. All right, got it. Shit. Download complete. Get the device. About time. Got it. All right, people. Let's get the hell out of here. Here we go. Stop what you came for! Stop right there! 
Come on, come on. Hey, we got a problem up here. Sprinkler system. Can't see anything. Man, can a hacker shut it off? I'm in the system. Okay. Shutting down fire suppression. Add a girl. Whatever we're paying you, you're worth it. Moving, moving. Get over here. Fuck. Well, he didn't make it. You sure, man? Because he might be a... Oh. Oh. No, he didn't make it. Well, you funny, huh, motherfucker? Well, let's get the fuck out of here. No, we're too high. The wind will tie us in a knot. We gotta keep moving. Come on, let's go. Hey. Oh. Oh. Oh, you I... Corrupt ass I'll bitch! Let's move! Let's go. Come on now, you're not... Let's keep it moving, dog! Come on! Give me some back This the way! We getting out of here! Stay close to me, dog. We're in our way. Man, we going. Over here, homie. We got what we came for. Let's go. Following you. F, get in there. Down these stairs. Keep going. Come on, you on point. you you 
guys make an honest killer like me sick. We low enough? Yeah, this will do. Set up the rigs. All right, come on. What's going on on the outside? Ground units, air units, every unit in the state is on the way. I don't know if you have the firepower to hold them off. ETA is any minute. Well, then we better get gone before they show up. Let's get the fuck out of here, then. Okay, let's blow this joint. Over to the right, dog. Man, it's about every cop in L.S. County on the way. It don't look like they're for us. Not yet, at least. An air unit seen you on the side of the building. Look out, guys. Ah, crap! They got a bird! Go! to be a paramedic crew. That means no shooting. If you're a dick, you lose your dick, okay? Okay. We lost him, Frank. We're meeting Lester at your place for a debrief. Hey, Taliana, right? Great move, bringing an ambulance. It's a common trick. The crew don't get jumpy. It usually works. Common or not, it takes balls. And you got him. Whoa, now we're clear, I could probably say I never expected to make it out of there. Yeah, sure, man. We had it covered. Oh, really? It was covered, was it? Uh, yeah. Lester had the plan. It was all set up. Yeah, we had a plan. Hold off the nastiest team of crooked FIB agents in the country while the last of the baby boomers pretends he's a hacker? Come on. It was hopeful. And then when the chopper crashed? Oh, man. I thought there was no fucking way. Why do you think Lester burned down the business? Hell, why do you think I'm doing it for nothing? And these clowns are getting paid? You're screwing with me, right? I've already given you a major discount on my standard rate. Shit, yeah, of course. Don't think I'm ungrateful. If you want to renegotiate, let's go back and I'll drop you outside the FIB building. I get it. I'm sorry. Hey, man, tell him you messing with him, Mike. Hey, I was semi-sort of serious, but joking once you reacted like that, all right? Taliana, we're coming up on the place. Can you do me a favor? Get rid of the vehicle and drop him off somewhere. I got it! Prince, DNA, whole thing will be clean. Hey, come on. <laughs> Damn, Franklin. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Any longer, I was going to torch this place, too. <laughs> hey. hey, you did it! We did it! Yeah! yeah. Fucking A! <laughs> hey, where's my liquor at, dog? I got it. It's right here. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Here it is. Come here on. Shit. There you go. Man, you may be a conflicting, hypocritical, self loafing old bastard, dog, but if there's no one else, I'd rather rob a federal building with me. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you, boys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so. You want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I gotta deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dawg? No, no, I probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? 
So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dog. Take care. Man, it's Trevor, and I'm out. Oh, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck them. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Frankie! Lester! Lester needs a drink! I'm gonna be using your car. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Ah, see? Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? Because we're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers. Celluloid. Good guys. Bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career. Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, come whoa. on, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. 
They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you. We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg. Go! Fuck! Bullshit. here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you got the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. This is the guy who iced Brad, and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Like there's a window. D. Run for the that stone bench by the pool. I'll come join you.
Chopper. Well, that was fun. What are you doing smoking, huh? Count my money. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean...